trombones. Today I'm going to show you how to put together your trombone. Step one is to make sure you have the top on top and the bottom on bottom. It should say R-E-S or if you didn't get it from us and you got it from LS Music, there'll probably be a sticker on top or it will say the brand name. It's very important that the top of the case says something because if you do it the opposite direction where there's just a black side, then your trombone's probably just gonna go everywhere and it might break or dent or bend and that can be very expensive to fix. So make sure that you've got the top on top and the bottom on bottom. Unlatch by pulling up and then gently open your case. You've got three parts to your trombone, the bell, the slide, and a mouthpiece. So we're going to assemble the bell and slide first. The first part you take out is your slide. Your, pro your slide is probably locked in there by these turning pieces. So make sure you unturn those and gently take out your slide. The first thing you're going to check is, is my slide locked? If I hold this first bar here and I pull gently, it shouldn't move. If this is turned the wrong way and it's unlocked, I need to immediately lock it for the entire assembly process. Then I'm going to take my slide and I'm going to put it on the ground. So let me get a better angle for you so you can see. So my slide is on the ground like this, straight up and down. There is a short side and a long side. The short side is where our mouthpiece will go, and the long side is where our bell will go. Let's start with the mouthpiece. This is going to go in that shorter end. So I've got my mouthpiece, and I want you to think of it like a clock. We're going to let gravity put the mouthpiece in. Gravity takes it in. Did I push it all? No. We never, ever, ever push the mouthpiece in. I should be able to pull it out with just two fingers, and I always only use two fingers when I'm putting my mouthpiece in. Then we're gonna take those same two fingers and twist like a clock. I'm at 12 o'clock and six o'clock right now. I'm going to twist so that it's at one o'clock and seven o'clock. Twist in, and then to come out, we twist the opposite direction and pull up. Do I push? No, I don't push. I just twist it in and then I twist it out. Practice that a couple times. Twist in, twist the other way out. Twist to the right, twist to the left. All right, twist to the right and leave it in this time. So now we've got our mouthpiece in our slide. So put this by your right knee. Put your slide in front of your right knee. Now take out your bell and put it in a straight line with the slide, sorry. Uh, and that should be by your left knee. Gently place the slide and the bell together. The bell goes on top very gently. Did I push? No, I did not push. And now you're going to take the bell and rotate it forward. Watch me do this. I rotate the bell so it's at 90 degrees. Watch that one more time. They're straight. And then I rotate the bell to 90 degrees. Now there's this little metal connector that we need to lock in place. You need to be very careful with this connector. You should be able to twist it very easily to lock it. If there's any resistance and you cannot lock it, you need to immediately stop and go backwards. Backwards is left, forwards is right. So if I'm locking it righty tighty, lefty loosey. So if you're having any issues with this, go left. Don't ever go right if it's hard to do. Sometimes just going left a little bit and then going right fixes it. So it should be very easy to lock these in. It takes a few turns. 
Am I going to turn it as hard as I can? Never. I do it just until it stops. It will naturally stop itself and I never force it farther. Then how to hold my trombone. I'm going to take my thumb and put it here on this bar. First finger goes here on the mouthpiece. And then I'm going to take these three fingers and put them in there. So it should look like this. First finger on mouthpiece, thumb here, and these three fingers. Then we've got our thumb and these two fingers. I like to call them our pinchers on this little bar right here. And that's what will control our slide. So practice one more time holding it. Thumb on the bar first finger on the mouthpiece, the other three fingers in that hole right there, and then we've got our pinchers, and that's how that works. All right, so let's take it apart. We're going to lefty loosey the lock, and then we're going to take the bell and the slide and make them straight. Gently pull the bell off. The bell goes back in the case. Then our mouthpiece, we're going to lefty loosey turn it out, put the mouthpiece back in the case. And then finally, our slide goes back in the case. But we're not done because you still have to lock the slide in by turning these, or there might be a latch or something. And then you have to close the case. And very important, lock it.